Well, investigators are still trying to figure out exactly what happened before a woman crashed her car into an upstate bank yesterday morning. A family was on the way to church when this accident happened. The car burst into flames and inside that vehicle were two little boys who were killed. This all happened at the intersection of North Pleasantburg Drive and Wade Hampton Boulevard in Greenville. Our Mike Manzoni is there now with new information tonight. Mike. Well, Amy, investigators are still working on the details, but they tell us that the mother drove right through that old, the vacant gas station parking lot, then went to make a left here on Pleasantburg, North Pleasantburg Drive, before she got in a car accident with another vehicle and then somehow ended up crashing right into the front of this bank. Boarded up windows, uprooted trees, and a charred sign are all that's left after yesterday's crash. I've never even been close to an accident to this degree. Investigators say they know a crash sent this SUV right into the front of this Arthur State Bank branch, but there's one question that's still unanswered. It was uh, a large fire very, very quickly, and we we're working with the fire officials to try to make sure we understand what caused that, but uh, these are, are dangerous, dangerous situations. Police say three-year-old Micah Young and five-year-old Taryn Young Jr. died in this SUV. They say the boy's mother and another girl in the vehicle got out safely. Two people inside the bank at the time also made it out okay. There would likely have been more people around than there were yesterday. Kent Dill with the Greenville County Coroner's Office says if this happened on a weekday, we might be looking at more injuries or deaths. We were lucky this was a Sunday morning and there just happened to be two people inside the building. Uh, luckily, the, the point of impact was not near where they were. Investigators tell us that those two boys who died were in the back seat of that SUV. They tell us that part of their investigation is going to be to look into whether or not they were restrained or there was something else that might have prevented those boys from getting out that again part of the investigation. We should also mention that the coroner's office says that the medical examiner completed the autopsies on both of those boys bodies today. They do have a cause of death for one of the boys, three year old Micah Young. That is uh, the, what the coroner says is inhalational injuries. We're still waiting on a cause of death for the other boy, his brother, five year old Taryn Young. The coroner's office says that it expects to have at least a preliminary cause of death by the end of the week at the latest. For now, we're live in Greenville. Mike Manzoni, 7 on your side. All right, Mike, thank you. We pulled crash numbers from this particular intersection. Crashes have climbed slowly over the past few years. There were 45 accidents at the intersection last year, which is up slightly from 38 crashes there in 2013 and 26 in 2012.